So, I don't want to kill that yet because Democritus can't move yet. Um, but it'll also be a little while before his special is up. So let's go ahead and use him to cast a heal. Well, no, let's wait on that. Just chill out. Take it easy. Alright, looks like Democritus is about to be out. There we go. Now... Oh, wait. Just the way he unboots this thing. Crap. Make it easier. Alright. No, it's still not up. Dang it. Okay, now. Hurry. Nuke these things, move Democritus in, and now finally take care of the slow. So we'll be able to retarget our attacks a little bit faster. Because that's the worst one. That's what's really messing us up right now. Well, that and the freezy one. But unfortunately, the freezy one is right in front of Boots. Oh, move quick, quick. Okay. Um, there. All right, now Pal's going to be up. And I can move him into the yellow immediately. Yes. So we've only got two left to deal with, but we also only have two party members. like this fight. Um, like, once I figured out that you gotta move in to stop them from respawning, it actually is one of the more strategic fights that we've faced so far. Alright, so let's go ahead and team is free. Or no hair. feel like I actually need to have her kill the CN one and give up boots first. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because that freeze is still screwing us over. I don't want the freeze to be the last one active. Okay, use your special, no, use your uh, pain your wet on the CN one. And hopefully we can move boots in there real quick. quick. Right, you step on that little ball of light. Hmm. Well, no, we really need to make sure that the CN one is not the last one up. Because I feel like if we do that, then it's going to be literally unwinnable. Because we'll constantly be getting frozen um, and we won't be able to move. So just be patient. We'll, uh, have her take it out and then have Boots move in. Unless... Well... Alright, hang on. It's kind of risky, but... Boots isn't frozen right now. So if I could take them out, we could both move in at the same time. But I don't know. He would have no moves at that point. I don't know if he's fast enough to make that work. Um, plus, she's not ready. So no point in doing it right now. She keeps on getting frozen. Dang it. Okay. 
Okay, just ready. Okay, use a. Uh... Burn on him. Hopefully, that'll kill it. Boots can move in. Yes. Alright. Freezes out of the way. Survive the salvo. Oh, that's the slow. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I, I chose the wrong one. What does the CN do then? Oh, crud. I should have paid more attention. So now she has to kill this thing and move in while constantly being slow. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid with boots. Shoot. This is royally cruddy, <laughs> because unfortunately there's not really anything we can do um, at this point. part is, I'm pretty sure, since we didn't get a save, that, uh, like, we have to go through the entire Dead of Boss fight again just to get to this. Oh, I should have paid more attention. So while this is a cool fight, and it's funny that like I was like, oh, this fight's frustrating while I'm not winning it, and then when I started winning, I'm like, oh, this is a cool fight, and now I'm like, oh, this fight sucks. But no, in all seriousness, while this is a cool fight, I do think it's poor design that uh, they engineered it so like it can basically be unwinnable. Um, so I think it's what we're about to see here. I know I'm going to try DPSing this thing down and moving in, but I don't think she's going to have a move action available quickly. And I think that it's it's literally over. All right. And the cool thing is, I guess you know, since it takes so long to uh, to make anything happen, I uh, yeah. See, so he's gonna respawn it. Oh, maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Do it. Alright, move to the move to the thing. Yes! We win! It is winnable! <laughs> <laughs>